Hey guys! We're here to do some Children of Bodom. Holy crap, it's, we, haven't, we haven't done a video from Children of Bodom since we went to Children of Bodom concert in November of last yeah. year. That's a long ass time. But the main reason we haven't done any is because it's like we're familiar with the band. We listened to the band. We yeah. went to the concert. And now so, their the new album is going to be like hard rock. This is one of the reasons I want to do this. They have a new album coming out. They're saying it's going to be hard rock. I don't know. I'm going to hold judgment until if, I actually hear something. What if they're saying it's hard rock and then they boom, it's not hard I rock. I hope it's not hard rock. I mean, not that I don't like hard rock, but I, mean, I was hoping for some children of Bodom, like back to the to the old children of Bodom, like yeah. some really badass children of Bodom. I was, I don't know. I'm going to hold judgment until the album comes out and we get a chance to listen to it. Maybe they'll put out some videos before the album even comes out. But for now, we haven't checked out anything from Bodom in a long time. This is a live video, Lake Bodom, which, by the way, they didn't play this song no. at the concert that but we you attended. Have a shirt that says Lake Bodom on it. Uh, it says I survived Lake Bodom. Yeah. Yeah, but with the tour dates at the back. Yeah. Uh, do you, Do you know the story of of, of Lake well, Bodom? Isn't it like a lake in Finland that uh, these yeah, kids... The, these kids were murdered. Like, I think three of them were murdered. One survived or something like that. So it's. Uh, and this one's called Children of Bodom. Well, I guess they're the children of that lake. Anyways, roughly that's the story, I believe. So this is Lake Bodum live in Stockholm, Sweden, uh, 2006. Did uh, did Andy just chirp? Yeah. Wow, Andy's a big. Uh, uh, we have a new a new bird. We have a we have a bird named Andy. Andy Gillian is his name actually. So he just chirp. I guess he's a fan of Children of Bodum. So yeah. he wants to he wants to check out some uh, some Children of Bodum. Uh, Lake Bodom live in Stockholm 2006. This is old, man. It's yeah. like over 10 years ago. So uh, let's do this.
dude, man. I was just gonna say that. It's so funny you say that. I was just gonna say that. I, I must say this. I Children of Boredom last year, best concert I've ever attended in my life. I, I can't think, for as much as I had fun at Sabaton and I had oh, fun no, at... Sabaton for me is the best we've done so far, but... Well, of course. For, for I mean, last Sabaton year... Sabaton could take a shit in your living room and it would still be the best yeah. shit anybody's ever taken again, in your living room. Last year we went to a couple concerts and that was the best one. We went to Metallica and I'm still gonna say Children of Bodom was the best one. Yeah, we did go to Metallica. We went to Iron Maiden too yeah. last year. I mean, last year we went to a lot of shows. Having said that, this year we've gone to even more shows so yeah. far and the year is not even over. Uh, having said that, this year I'm going to a lot of shows by myself because most of them are, are 19 and over, which is a real shame. Uh, you're missing so many great bands. The, the last one is Paradise Lost. Like, you're not going to be able to go to that. But anyways, to me, this was, this is, I would say, in the top five, top three yeah. of my favorite shows all time was seeing these guys live. That show with them, Uncured, um, Lost Society, and Karak Angren, what a concert that was. But their set was just killer I, and i will remember that as the second time a band member has, has uh, recognized us from our youtube channel yeah there was the drummer nemtar from uh, karak Engren. but one thing i noticed in this live video there was nobody holding a shoe up in the air but there was a drummer throwing sticks at the at keyboard the keyboard player. player yeah that was kind of cool he kept throwing them at him and, yeah. and he never grabbed them he kept dropping them and stuff because he wouldn't notice and then it would go and it hit the floor and he went to go get them these guys live it's something else. Like, I absolutely had a, a hell of a time. Oh, I, chaos. I, oh, man, I enjoyed it so much. That's why, like, for bands like, for these guys, bands like Amon Amarth, where we're very familiar with their with their albums now, we can only really do live videos because to do studio stuff, we already heard the studio yeah. stuff. We want to do the live videos because we want to check them live. We want to check the same song that we know from the studio, but now we want to see the live performance, them performing live, because, and kind of recapture. Because one day, maybe we'll go to see it on Oh, and he fell. And yes. I'll be back. <laughs> God damn it, Andy. Uh, one day, we might go see him on and, you know, I want to get ready, because if it's total chaos, I got to be ready for that, for that mosh pit. Yeah, and, and for me, for this video, the reason I wanted to do this video, yes, Andy is upset because he fell off of his... Perch. He's also mad because uh, his song got copyrighted on uh, Facebook. Yes, yes. So uh, I guess he's telling us we need to wrap it up. That's what he's telling us. But I just wanted to say that this video really captured the feelings that I had when I saw them live because I really enjoy seeing them live. And I was so looking forward to seeing a live video from Children of Bodom just to try to relive that moment that it was, those live performances. Mm -hmm. By the way, going forward, we need to put the bird somewhere else because we cannot be doing videos with him going absolutely buck wild, oh, flying know. all over the place and chirping. And chirping, he's the chirping. best mascot. I know, but but I lose my concentration. I'm trying <laughs> to pay attention to the song and to the video, and if he starts chirping, I, I lose my concentration. Yeah. All right, guys, this is it for today. He's telling us to wrap it up. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. See ya.